Welcome back, folks. Uh, today, now we're going to talk about proving that vector angle formula that tells us that cosine theta is u dot v over magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So um, going back to the example from the last video of 3 dot 3, 4 dotted with or the angle between negative 3, 4 and negative 3, 0, I want to think about some other ways that we know to find angles between two rays like this. Uh, well, one such way would be to pretend we're not on the coordinate plane and instead to pretend that we are in Triangle Town. Connect the two vectors and then use law of cosines. And for example, uh, to find theta, then we could find the length of this using uh, the distance formula and then find theta using um, just regular law of cosines because this is a triangle. Now this would work for these two vectors right here, um, but it's actually gonna work for any vectors A and B, and I'm gonna show you how here. So the first step in this is drawing out two vectors, and I am again just doing like nothing, pretending I know nothing about their coordinates at all. Uh, I just have U and V uh, as vectors out in space, and now I'm gonna kind of complete the triangle by drawing a third vector, and I'm going to draw it from V to U. And this could seem a little weird, but I just have to complete the triangle. I could have drawn it the other way, but um, then it would change things in the equation ever so slightly, and this one's going to be a little easier. I'm going to just for a second call this vector vector X, and see if I can solve for X in terms of U and V. Well, remember when you add two vectors, they get added tip to tail. So V and X here are already in that tip to tail position, which would mean that V plus X would equal the result uh, of wherever the tip and tail end. So that's U, which means that vector X could actually be written as vector U minus vector V. So that's our geometric version of vector subtraction. If that's something really foreign to you, I recommend going back to the previous section, watching a couple more videos. I know there's some good ones online about uh, the geometry of vector addition and subtraction. So let's clean this up. Now, if I'm going to use the law of cosines here, I actually have a small problem. The problem is that these sides are not uh, right now lengths. They're like vectors, right? So a vector has multiple components. A vector is like x comma y or, or p comma q. And I can't plug in a vector into the law of cosines. So what I'm going to do is think about each of these sides. Like I'll call this side A, this side B, and this side C, just like you would do in law of cosines. And I'll note that A is going to be the magnitude of vector V, B is going to be the magnitude of vector U, and C is going to be the magnitude of vector U minus vector V. Okay. So then, now I'm going to write out my law of cosines. Law of cosines says that c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta. Now I'll substitute in each of these magnitude values. Now it might be good to pause and think about the direction that this proof is going. So remember what we're trying to show, which is we're trying to show something about the vector angle formula. So to show that thing, and another way to think about this formula and write it, of course, is magnitude of u, magnitude of v, cosine theta is equal to u dot v. Let's take a look at what that formula is. Magnitude of u, magnitude of v, cosine theta, I've got that. I have it right here. So somehow the rest of this proof is basically going to be showing the, that all of this is somehow equal to or correlated to u dot v. And that's what we're going to spend some time doing. So to do this, we're going to have to go into the triangles uh, or go into the vectors and label the components. U1 and I'm going to label vector u as u1 and u2 and vector v as v1 v2. So these are like the x and y components of each of these vectors, right? Like this is the x, this is the y, this is the x, this is the y. Um, and 
Uh, we'll also need that for u minus v, but I'll do that down here, uh, not to bother the picture more. And let's do that and see what we get. So I want to do a little scratch work here um, about, for example, magnitude of u squared would be the magnitude is the square root of the sum of the components squared. So the square root of u1 squared plus u2 squared. That's the magnitude, but then I'm taking that magnitude and squaring it. So what happens? Well, the roots cancel out, and I just get u1 squared plus u2 squared. And that's going to happen the same for v. Here I'm going to leave these, um, but I'm going to keep those u1s, u2s, v1, v2. Now on the left side, this is where the messiness happens. So uh, u minus v, the vector, is going to be, really its components are uh, u1 minus v1 comma u2 minus v2. Then I would need to compute the magnitude by squaring all those, add them up, uh, square root it, and then square it again. So this, this square out here just cancels out the square root, but I still have to square those components. So this is going to be ooh, there. u1 minus v1 squared plus u2 minus v2 squared. And then what we have to do is now these are just numbers. These are no longer vectors, right? These are components are just scalars. So we have to uh, multiply this out. Remember your perfect square pattern that you have as a middle term? Um, two times the thing inside, or the, the product of those things, a, a plus b. And then second part. Then let's do a little magic. So the magic is this. Look at what's in common. v1 squared, that should be squared, v2 squared, u1 squared, u2 squared. Those are all going to cancel out. You can just subtract them from both sides of the equation. And so if you do that, you get negative 2 u1 v1 minus 2 u2 v2 equals minus 2 magnitude of u magnitude of v cosine theta. Let's uh, stick with the left side for a while. Pull out that minus 2. And in fact, I'm just going to divide by minus 2 now. So I get that u1 v1 plus u2 v2 equals magnitude of u, magnitude of v, cosine theta. Well, wait a minute, guys. u1 v1 plus u2 v2 is the literal definition of the dot product. So what I'm going to do here is undot this and rewrite this as u dot v. Remember that the dot product is the uh, sum of the component, the multiple product of the components then added together. So I've now shown that u dot v is equal to magnitude of u, magnitude of v, cosine theta. Or alternatively, I've shown that u dot v divided by magnitude of u times the magnitude of v is equal to cosine of theta. And either of these are considered the formula for the angle between two vectors. So it's proved all on one page here just using the law of cosines. Now, is this proof important to know to be able to reproduce by hand? Absolutely not. But uh, there's a couple reasons I like showing it to people. Uh, one is I never like giving a formula that's just never proven, so here at least you've seen it proved. Uh, two is it's some really nice practice, which is basic vector operations. So uh, practice with understanding the geometry of vector addition to get that uh, orange side of the triangle. It's also really good practice doing 
uh, dot products. It's good practice computing magnitudes. It's good practice just keeping track of some some really tricky comp, uh, computations. Um, so I don't know. It's a cool proof to do. Uh, it's a in, very interesting proof. I enjoy doing it. Um, but I'm not going to make anyone here like really recreate it. Just you know have some sense that this vector angle formula didn't come uh, you know from space. It just it's another version of the law of cosines. Uh, just kind of in the language of vectors instead of the language of triangles. So uh, that's all for you guys today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this proof. Uh, please email me with your questions, put any questions in the comments below, um, and I will see you all next time.